What's the difference between Petrov and Petrov? Hello everybody, my name is Bohmir and today is a really special day for me. I'm in Hradec Králové in Petrov Piano Salon and I'm just testing their two best pianos. I'm from Czech Republic and Petrov pianos have been with me whole life. I played on them when I was uh, when I was seven years old. My first teacher had a big Petrov that uh, he was really proud of. And today I am here again to try new Petrov pianos. The first piano to try is this standard model of Petrov. It's Petrov Mistral. Uh, it's 284 centimeters long, so it's quite a long piano, and it costs 120,000 euros. And it's a standard uh, Petrov instrument. Uh, it has been designed uh, ages ago, and I think it has a really typical Czech sound. The second piano I'm going to play is this fantastic Antonin Petrov 275 that costs 175,000 euros. So it's significantly more than uh, the Petrov Mistral. And of course, it's handmade. It's a completely new design. Petrov made this design uh, to 150 years anniversary uh, of Petrov brand. And I'm really excited to play this instrument because I have never played this line. It's completely new for me and I wonder what they did. I heard just from, from the seller that uh, they kind of made the design a little bit same as uh, Steinway pianos. I don't know. For me, the plate and everything inside looks different than Steinway. It's also shorter piano than the Petrov 284 Mistral, but uh, it has wider tail, so I expect more basses and overall rounder sound. I'm going to play the same pieces on both pianos and write to the comment section below what do you think about the pianos. I think this will be really exciting.
So what are my impressions about Antonin Petrov 275? It's a really interesting piano. Uh, I would describe it by one word, smooth. Everything is so smooth. The sound in uh, pianissimo until mezzo forte, maybe forte, it's smooth and round and nice and singing. The action is incredibly smooth. You, you don't feel any bumps in, uh, uh, in the way of the action. It's just so nice to play. It repeats very well. Uh, I'm, I'm really surprised. What's the downside of the piano is that for me, it closes in fortissimo. It doesn't play anymore. It, it doesn't sink anymore in fortissimo. So if I press it, it stops to play. I think it's perfect piano with really nice straight sound uh, for Mozart and Schubert and early romanticism where you don't actually play triple forte. Uh, it has incredible colors uh, in, the, in the bass section in the middle. Uh, I heard some problems with intonation in this section, but it's probably it's probably a problem of just this piano. Uh, not so big deal, you, you can intonate and it, it will be all right. And the tops are really singing and they are like uh, small silver springs that just pops out. It's so nice to play actually. And for me, this piano is really inspirative. I'm really inspired and I'm really happy. Just I don't have to press it. Uh, it closes. But overall, I'm really happy.
So what do I think about Petrov 284 Mistral? I think it's a really good piano. It's really even, it's really happy to play, it wants to play. Uh, I feel that it's orchestral piano, that you can play concertos with orchestra. I hear that it has really strong voice, but also it sings really nice. It has a typical Petrov basses and uh, really easy going timbre. Uh, it's really happy piano. I would say it's happy piano. And I'm happy to play it because uh, it's inspirative, but it's really reliable. Uh, I feel that I can play piano, I can play forte, and uh, it allows me to do that, and that's important in piano playing. So I'm really happy with this piano. I need to mention that this video wouldn't be possible without a really big help of Petrov company. So I really thank to Petrov Piano Gallery and Petrov Brand that uh, I'm allowed to be here because uh, I have been here whole afternoon and I was recording and I was close here and they were really kind to me and the pianos are just fantastic. So I'm really happy and thank to Petrov really much. Oh, and now it's the question. What piano do I choose? Do I choose Antonin Petrov 275 or do I choose Mistral 284? Really hard question. I would say it depends. Uh, Antonin Petrov for me has, uh, is more deep feeling wise. Uh, if I really want and if I really try, I think I can push the piano, especially in pianissimo and mezzo, mezzo piano and mezzo forte, to its limits to really feel the music. The Petrov 284 Mistral, it's really comfortable piano, 
Uh, I feel I can do everything. It's uh, like a happy piano. It wants to play. It's really comfortable. So if I would like to play concert with some intimate music or piano and uh, calm, uh, easy, uh, slow music, I would choose Antonin Petrov 275. If I would play with orchestra or I would have some really demanding program, I want to feel really comfortable and uh, I would choose the 284, the cheaper one, because for me it's really easy piano. If I describe uh, the difference between those two pianos by uh, short words or characteristics, I would say that Antonin Petrov 275 is uh, like old sad man that uh, sometimes says something really important and it's really interesting to listen to him. And uh, Petrov 284, uh, uh, Mistral, is like a really young, happy man that wants to just play and enjoy life. That's it. Uh, please let me know to the comment section below what you think about those two pianos. I'm really interested uh, because I have different feeling when I play the piano. And then when I listen to the recordings, I just think, oh, it sounds different. So let me know to the comment section below what you think, guys. And this is the end of today's video. Thank you very much that you have been watching until now. And I wish you the best and I will see you in my next video. Bye.